Hey, what is up everybody? Happy Sunday. We've got a great week coming up. It's Tesla Investor Day on Wednesday. So happy Tesla Investor Day week to all of you. And unfortunately, we've got another week with no FSD Beta V11, which is very sad, but you know what? I've accepted it. I'm not trying to wait any longer. I'm not refreshing my car. And I'm enjoying this version we have, 10.69. So let's enjoy uh, this drive with 10.69, which is brought to you by another great sponsor from the Tesla community. I love shouting out all these great startups from the Tesla community, seeing what people are building. This week our videos and Twitter spaces are sponsored by Sugar Slice Maker. So it's Sugar Slice Maker on Etsy. You can go to etsy.com slash shop slash Sugar Slice Maker. And they've got some cool 3D printed products, some of which might be very appealing to Tesla fans. One that I really like is they've got the 4680 cell along with the 2170 cell and the 18650. Cool little thing to put on your desk or in your house somewhere. Um, I definitely am gonna get one for myself. And they've also got a lamp that is in the shape of a Tesla T logo that's red and it lights up. So definitely a great bedside lamp for a Tesla fan so go check them out and uh, make sure to buy a ton of their products so that our whole Mars sponsorships are a hit because we want to do a lot of great things for you guys we want to bring you guys some better videos better content car reviews we want to go get different kinds of EVs and ADAS systems and compare them together and hopefully if hardware 4 is unveiled soon we want to trade this car in, get a hardware 4 car, and I know you guys all want to see those hardware 4 videos once those cars are out, so go support our sponsors. You could use a new lamp anyway, right? Especially a Tesla logo one, or who doesn't want a 4680 cell in their house? So go to etsy.com slash shop slash sugar slice maker and uh, make sure to give them your support. I mean. It's a member of the Tesla community. I love seeing these people who I've known on Twitter for so long and uh, being able to support their products and support fellow members of the community. So go check it out and huge thanks to them for sponsoring our videos this week. So we're going on a drive right now uh, to the beach and this is just one of my favorite things to do on FSD Beta is just Go for a ride, even when I don't have anywhere particularly to go. Enjoy these beautiful views of the Pacific Ocean. And I just have to sit here and watch the system, make sure it doesn't do anything crazy. But mostly I just get to enjoy and I don't have to be as focused on watching the lane lines or watching other things on the road because the car is handling it for me. And if you want me to give you a shout out next week, or actually next week's taken, but I think the week after that's free, you can go to sponsor.holemars.com and you can book it yourself. Oh, that was good. It used to sometimes stop for that stop sign. It's at a little bit of an angle there. It thought that stop sign might apply to it, but this time it didn't stop for it. It, it proceeded smoothly forward. So great to see them getting more accurate about tricky stop signs like that that are angled. Okay, here's a really steep curve. Very good. And there's an even steeper one coming up. Yeah, it's kind of weird to do sponsors, but um, I think it potentially is a win for everybody, a win for the people who want to promote their products cool to you know just sort of introduce other people in the Tesla community and talk about what they're working on there's a lot of entrepreneurs and smart people in the Tesla community and uh, maybe you know we find out about some cool products like maybe there's someone listening who right now who said oh my god I really needed a Tesla logo lamp I've been dreaming about this and thank god you told me about sugar slice maker so we'll see how it goes 
but so far I think it's been okay. It hasn't annoyed too many people. If you can sort of integrate it into the content, like, okay, we're still going on an FSD beta drive, but, you know, I'll just give them a shout out, then I think that's fine. And it's actually funny because a lot of people said, oh, you know, I like the videos where you talk and give the road noise and um, we can actually hear what the car's doing. And it makes it a lot easier to watch at 1x speed, which we really want to do. We want to see all the details. Even some people from the car companies, uh, from the other autonomous car companies, told me they like to watch at 1x speed. But I'm usually too lazy to talk and uh, do that kind of thing and edit it because it just takes more time. I like to listen to music and maybe, like, you know, rock out a little bit instead of having to talk and then you have to worry about what you said and then you mess up you go like Bleh, you know just the word slips out or something and then you have to edit it or you know try and do it again or something so I haven't liked doing the videos where I talk because it's just so much faster to do it without it but there's definitely some demand for that and uh, then at least for the sponsor I, at least I have some incentive to So we're proceeding along now, car doing pretty well. Nice smooth trip, okay, we got a left turn here. Then another car making a right, another car passing, and perfect. It sees its opportunity and it goes. Now the car stopped that just made a right turn and okay, we went around it perfectly smoothly. Now if this is a busy intersection here where we're gonna make a right, right turn should be relatively easy but there is a lot of traffic. Looks like there's some girl walking across the street. And here we go. Uh, this one's a little bit challenging for it, for sure. I think last time it had a bit of an issue here. Let me be ready, just in case. Okay, it didn't have the issue last time. Last time it kind of had an issue with the plant planter there. Okay, very good. Wow, it actually, that was like, this is a very sort of comp, I don't even know if you call it an intersection or what it is, but it's very complicated. and. Sometimes you can have issues there, knowing where cars are crossing, but it seems to have really improved. It's a really nice, comfortable drive. I mean, if this is 10.69, imagine what V11 is going to be capable of with, you know, months of re-architecture that we haven't seen yet. I mean, it'll probably be a little less stable at first, but it's gonna enable, oh my god, it's such a clear day, you can just see downtown from here. But it's just gonna enable so much better functionality, um, much more advanced than anything we could have gotten from this version with the sort of softer 2.0 deep learning stack eating up more of the navigation and planning elements that were sort of procedural code before. So I think they're making really exciting progress overall, even though we haven't gotten a major update in a while now. Uh, it looks like we should be pretty close. I mean, maybe someone can pin down Elon at Investor Day and force him to release it. Okay, so we got a left turn here, yellow light, and very, very good. Very, very good. It didn't do a few annoying things. It didn't, you know, stop at the yellow, which would have been insanely annoying. And it does that sometimes. It's like, oh, Lights yellow, can't make it. Um, and uh, there was nobody there, it proceeded and it got through. All right, here's a cyclist. Definitely wanna make sure to be cautious of the cyclist. And it is. Slowing down, giving them space.
right? And now we have to go through a roundabout. Let's see how the car handles this. It's a little bit of a steep roundabout. We got a car coming. We got another car coming. And a few more cars coming. Okay, looks like this car's pausing. And that gives us an opportunity to proceed. Very nice. Europeans are gonna love this update when it comes to Europe. All right, slowing down for a guy getting into his car. Very good there. And here we are at the beach. So here there's gonna be a lot of cyclists, a lot of pedestrians, people roller skating, doing different stuff. So let's see how the car handles all that. So nice to drive on the beach, look at the ocean, and the car just handles the slow driving you have to do while being cautious of everybody that's moving by. It just makes it so easy to get around. Who's going to want a car that you have to drive yourself when this is a thing? And the software is not getting any worse, it's only getting better. Alright, we got some pedestrians. Okay, that was good. That was good. So a couple of things it did there. It slowed ever so gently as that guy peeked out. It didn't slam on the brakes like it did in some previous versions. That's very good. Then the guy actually started walking before I had fully crossed. A lot of times that would also cause it to slam on the brakes, which would actually create a dangerous situation where the person's expecting you to be gone, but then the car's still there, it's stopping, right? So it, it continued forward. It slowed a little bit, it responded, but in a cautious way waiting to see if they continued further. If he had continued moving forward, not seeing my car, then it might have stopped more harshly. But because it could see that, okay, he peeked in, but then he stopped, it just slowed ever so slightly and continued forward. That's actually the appropriate way you want to handle that. So good to see it getting so sophisticated about the way it handles pedestrians and cyclists and all that kind of thing. And this is the kind of driving that just is so frustrating and boring when you're doing it manually. Just waiting, stop and go at a stop sign. And now I can drive the parts that are fun for me to drive and let the car handle the boring parts like this. It's really cool. And I think everybody's going to want this technology. Whether it's Tesla's version or somebody else. But I think Tesla's going to have the best version because... Uh, They've just got such a head start. Nobody else has a product like this on the market. And every day the Tesla's on the road, they're finding situations, they're finding issues, they're hearing complaints, and they're making the software better. And we're getting close to the end of our trip here. Once again, big shout out to our sponsor for this week sugar slice maker this video is dedicated to them etsy.com slash shop slash sugar slice maker go buy a ton of their lamps and other 3d printed products so that i can get a car with hardware for 
and make some hardware for videos for you guys. Oh, well this is interesting. It's pulling over into the double yellow. I don't think I've ever seen it do that before. That's kind of bizarre. But I guess it's better than stopping in the middle of the street. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys uh, in Austin maybe, if you guys are there.